This is Rika May Sumani and today I will teach you about the bubble sort algorithm in Java programming. What is bubble sort? But before that, let's examine what is bubble and sort. Bubble means a thin sphere of liquid enclosing air or another gas. Yes. Bubbles that we usually see in our surroundings, in our environment, and the bubbles that usually the children play. So it pops, it pops, it pops somewhere. On the other hand, what is sort? A sort is an arranging systematically in groups separate according to type or class. For example, she sorted out the clothes, some to be kept, and some to be thrown away. That is sorting. And now, in Java programming, let us learn about how to bubble sort. Bubble sort is an orders a list of values by repeatedly comparing neighboring elements and swapping their position if necessary. So more specifically, this scan the entire list, exchanging adjacent elements if they are not in relative order. This bubbles the highest value to the top. Scan the entire list again and bubbling up the second highest volume. And repeat until the elements have been placed in their proper order. And also, bubble sort is the simplest sorting algorithm. So we have here the example of an array which has six positions, one, two, three, four, five, six position. Each position has the corresponding values. In number one, there is a seventy-seven, two, four, two. In third position, there is thirty-five. Fourth position, twelve. Fifth position, one hundred one. And sixth position is five. So. As you can see, they are not properly in order. So in bubble sort, we should change their positions in order for them to be in a correct position. Bubble sort standardly commands that the values should be in a correct order in an increasing number. So it means that the highest value should be at the last and the least value should be at the first. The scanning of the values should be from the left to right. We will change the positions by swapping together. So swap. The word swap means that the first position of this volume beside this position of the next volume should swap together or change. So this example will show you how to swap bubble sort. Bubbling out the largest element. Traverse a collection of elements. Move from front to the end. Bubble the largest volume to the end using pairwise comparisons and swapping. So in my example, we have 77, 42, 35, 12, 101, 5. It is obviously that the values are not in correct order. We have to arrange them in increasing number. We have here 101 is the highest volume and 5 is the lowest volume. Try to look at the first position and the second position. We have in the first position 77 and the second position is 42. 77 and 42 should be compared. Is 77 greater than 42? Yes. If 77 is greater than 42, then they will swap. 42 will now in the first position and the 77 will now in the second position. Next. In the second position, which has a 77 value, and the third position, which has the 35. So let's now compare 77 and 35. 77 is greater than 35? Yes. So now they will swap. The second position is now 35, and the third position is now 77. Let's examine this volumes. We have here the 77 and 12. Is 77 greater than 12? Yes, so we'll now swap them and the third position became 12 and the fourth position became 77. Let's examine the 77 and 101. Try to look at these two values. Is 77 greater than 101? No. If that's the case, the number 77 will remain. Let's move forward to 101. So remain the 77 in the fourth position. So 
We are now here in the position 5 and 6. So let's examine the values 101 and 5. Is 101 is greater than 5? Yes. So they will now swap. Fifth position became 5, and the last position, which is 6, became 101. So as you can see, the 101, which is the highest value, is now on the last part of the array. But we're not yet finished because, as you can see, there are some values are not yet in correct order. So still, we have 42, 35, 12, 77, 5, and 101. The lowest value just 5 is still at the middle part. Our goal is that all the values of the numbers are in correct order. So we apply again the steps, so on and so forth, until they reach the correct order. As I said earlier, we are not yet finished because the values are not yet in correct order. And that ends our tutorial. So again, ball sort is orders a list values by repeatedly comparing neighboring elements and swapping them together in correct position.